CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 12 Algebraic Expressions Page 235 12.6 Addition and Subtraction of Algebraic Expressions Consider the following problems. 1. Sarita has some marbles. Amina has 10 more. Appu says that he has 3 more marbles than the number of marbles Sarita and Amina together have. How do you get the number of marbles that Appu has? Since it is not given how many marbles Sarita has, we shall take it to be x. Amina then has 10 more, that is, x plus 10. Appu says that he has 3 more marbles than what Sarita and Amina have together. So we take the sum of the numbers of Sarita's marbles and Amina's marbles and to this sum add 3. That is, we take the sum of x, x plus 10 and 3. Page 236 2. Ramu's father's present age is three times Ramu's age. Ramu's grandfather's age is 13 years more than the sum of Ramu's age and Ramu's father's age. How do you find Ramu's grandfather's age? Since Ramu's age is not given, let us take it to be y years. Then his father's age is three y years. To find Ramu's grandfather's age, we have to take the sum of Ramu's age, that is y, and his father's age, that is 3y, and to the sum add 13. That is, we have to take the sum of y, 3y, and 13. 3. In a garden, Roses and marigolds are planted in square plots. The length of the square plot in which marigolds are planted is 3 meters greater than the length of the square plot in which roses are planted. How much bigger in area is the marigold plot than the rose plot? Let us take L meters to be the length of the side of the rose plot. The length of the side of the marigold plot will be L plus 3 meters. Their respective areas will be L square and L plus 3 whole square. The difference between L square plus 3 whole square and L square will decide how much bigger in area the marigold plot is. In all the three situations, we had to carry out addition or subtraction of algebraic expressions. There are a number of real-life problems in which we need to use expressions and do arithmetic operations on them. In this section, we shall see how algebraic expressions are added and subtracted. Try these. Think of at least two situations in each of which you need to form two algebraic expressions and add or subtract them. Adding and subtracting like terms. The simplest expressions are monomials. They consist of only one term. To begin with, we shall learn how to add or subtract like terms. Let us add 3x and 4x. We know x is a number and so also are 3x and 4x. Now, 3x plus 4x is equal to 3 multiplied by x plus 4 multiplied by x, which is equal to 3 plus 4 whole multiplied by x, using distributive law which is equal to 7 multiplied by x, which is equal to 7x, or 3x plus 4x is equal to 7x. 
since variables are numbers, we can use distributive law for them. Let us next add 8xy, 4xy and 2xy. 8xy plus 4xy plus 2xy is equal to 8 multiplied by xy plus 4 multiplied by xy plus 2 multiplied by xy which is equal to 8 plus 4 plus 2 whole multiplied by xy which is equal to 14 multiplied by xy which is equal to 14xy or 8xy plus 4xy plus 2xy is equal to 14xy. Page 237 Let us subtract 4n from 7n. 7n minus 4n is equal to 7 multiplied by n minus 4 multiplied by n which is equal to 7 minus 4 whole multiplied by n, which is equal to 3 multiplied by n, which is equal to 3n. Or 7n minus 4n is equal to 3n. In the same way, subtract 5ab from 11ab. 11ab minus 5ab is equal to 11 minus 5 whole multiplied by AB, which is equal to 6AB. Thus, the sum of two or more like terms is a like term with a numerical coefficient equal to the sum of the numerical coefficients of all the like terms. Similarly, the difference between two like terms is a like term with a numerical coefficient equal to the difference between the numerical coefficients of the two like terms. Note, unlike terms cannot be added or subtracted the way like terms are added or subtracted. We have already seen examples of this. When 5 is added to x, we write the result as x plus 5. Observe that in x plus 5, both the terms 5 and x are retained. Similarly, if we add the unlike terms 3xy and 7, the sum is 3xy plus 7. If we subtract 7 from 3xy, the result is 3xy minus 7. Adding and subtracting general algebraic expressions. Let us take some examples. Add 3x plus 11 and 7x minus 5. The sum is equal to 3x plus 11 plus 7x minus 5. Now, we know that the terms 3x and 7x are like terms, and so also are 11 and minus 5. Further, 3x plus 7x is equal to 10x, and 11 plus minus 5 is equal to 6. We can therefore simplify the sum as, the sum is equal to 3x plus 11, plus 7x minus 5, which is equal to 3x plus 7x plus 11 minus 5, rearranging terms, which is equal to 10x plus 6. Hence, 3x plus 11 plus 7x minus 5 is equal to 10x plus 6. Add 3x plus 11, plus 8z, and 7x minus 5. The sum is equal to 3x plus 11, plus 8z, plus 7x minus 5, which is equal to 3x plus 7x, plus 11, minus 5, 
plus 8z. Rearranging terms. Note, we have put like terms together. The single unlike term 8z will remain as it is. Therefore, the sum is equal to 10x plus 6 plus 8z. Page 238. Subtract a minus b from 3a minus b plus 4. The difference is equal to 3a minus b plus 4 minus a minus b, which is equal to 3a minus b plus 4 minus a plus b. Observe how we took a minus b in brackets and took care of signs in opening the bracket. Rearranging the terms to put like terms together, the difference is equal to 3a minus a plus b minus b plus 4, which is equal to, in brackets, 3 minus 1, a plus, in brackets, 1 minus 1, b plus 4. The difference is equal to 2a plus 0 b plus 4 which is equal to 2a plus 4 or 3a minus b plus 4 minus in brackets a minus b is equal to 2a plus 4. We shall now solve some more examples on addition and subtraction of expression for practice. Note, just as minus, in brackets, 5 minus 3 is equal to minus 5 plus 3, minus, in brackets, a minus b is equal to minus a plus b. The signs of algebraic terms are handled in the same way as signs of numbers. Example 4 Collect like terms and simplify the expression. 12m square minus 9m plus 5m minus 4m square minus 7m plus 10. Solution Rearranging terms, we have 12m square minus 4m square plus 5m minus 9m minus 7m plus 10, which is equal to, in brackets, 12 minus 4m square plus, in brackets, 5 minus 9 minus 7m plus 10, which is equal to 8m square plus, in brackets, minus 4 minus 7m plus 10, which is equal to 8m square plus minus 11m plus 10, which is equal to 8m square minus 11m plus 10. Try these. Add and subtract 1. M minus N. M plus N. 2. MN plus 5 minus 2. MN plus 3. Note. Subtracting a term is the same as adding its inverse. Subtracting minus 10B is the same as adding plus 10B. Subtracting Minus 18a is the same as adding 18 plus a. And subtracting 24ab is the same as adding minus 24ab. The signs shown below the expression to be subtracted are a help in carrying out the subtraction properly. Example 5. Subtract. 24ab minus 10b minus 18a 
from 30AB plus 12B plus 14A. Solution 30AB plus 12B plus 14A minus in brackets 24AB minus 10B minus 18A which is equal to 30AB plus 12B plus 14A minus 24AB plus 10B plus 18A which is equal to 30AB minus 24AB plus 12B plus 10B plus 14A plus 18A which is equal to 6AB plus 22B plus 32A. Alternatively, we write the expressions one below the other with the like terms appearing exactly below like terms as 30AB plus 12B plus 14A 24AB minus 10B minus 18A The signs change as shown here minus plus plus The result is 6AB plus 22B plus 32A Page 239 Example 6 from the sum of 2y square plus 3yz minus y square minus yz minus z square and yz plus 2z square subtract the sum of 3y square minus z square and minus y square plus yz plus z square. Solution we first add 2y square plus 3yz minus y square minus yz minus z square and yz plus 2z square. 2y square plus 3yz minus y square minus yz minus z square plus yz plus 2z square is equal to y square plus 3yz plus z square. That's 1. We then add 3y square minus z square and minus y square plus yz plus z square. 3y square minus z square minus y square plus yz plus z square which is equal to 2y square plus yz. That's 2. Now we subtract sum 2 from the sum 1. y square plus 3yz plus z square. 2y square plus yz. This is to be subtracted. The result is minus y square plus 2yz plus z square. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.